Hi, Nick Smith here. Um, I wanted to run through a, um, a couple of um, setup issues to do with um, the roadway module of Lighting Reality, although many of the features that are here are carried through into the outdoor module as well. Um, I particularly wanted to look at some of the default settings. Um, firstly, um, customized report. Um, in the report setup area, we can put information in here and here about our own organization so that when we print reports, um, it comes out with our own information on. I, I would definitely urge people to do this. We have a lot of problems where um, people ring us up wanting lighting designs changing and we have to explain to them that we, we prepare the software. So if if I could urge you to um, to look at this here, this area here, and you can also add your own um, your own logo so I can have my own um, my own logo like so select save and obviously I would change all the information here and here and then when I uh, print a report um, you'll see that it's come with my own organization's logo on so um, the other things I wanted just to briefly touch on um, to do with setup issues um, set project path this sets the location that lighting reality um, will save a project to initially when you select save or will go to when you select open. Um, you can set it to any drive that's connected to your computer so you can set it to a network drive, a map drive, um, whatever it happens to be, browse to that location, select apply and then that will be done. Um, the other area I wanted to particularly talk about was to do with default settings. Now, you, you will notice there are some similarities between the settings that appear in this dialog box and the settings that appear in this dialog box here. The default settings affect any future files. So when you go to the file menu and select new, you can um, set up um, any of these parameters to become the default options within your um your program, your your within the settings of your your uh, Windows login. So um, obviously, designer's name and the maintenance factor are are important, or light loss factor, depending on whatever you happen to call it. Um, every I know everybody has a pet maintenance factor they like to use. I tend to use 0.79. Um, that gives me um, an L80, uh, an L90 value for the lumen depreciation and it also gives me a certain cleaning style based on the uh, philosophies we use within the UK in BS5489. Um, there's a couple of other areas that we need to look at here as well. If you if you use um, the, um, the IES grids, RP8, um, you can set this up so that it works in meters or feet or lux and foot candles, obviously using whatever uh, of those um, you want. So, I, I mean, I te when I'm doing stuff in America, I tend to use feet and looks because um, it allows me to get my head around it. Um, but whatever combination of those you, you feel works for you uh, based on the, um, the units that you like to use. Um, drive on left, drive on right. Um, in some of the grids, it has no bearing at all, um, but it's purely getting your head around what you do in your, in the, in, in your particular country, obviously in the UK where I'm based. Most of the time we drive on the left-hand side of the road. In fact, all of the time we drive on the left-hand side of the road. Um, there's a few other options in here. The Dutch X S class um, that affects the um, some p specific parameters to do with the EN one three two zero one illuminance grid. Um, for users in Holland, I would probably have that set as default, um, and um, the enable. Uh, the Dutch ROVL, which again is something that applies to the EM13201 2015 grids. Again, for users in Holland, I would have those ticked as well. Um, the French uh, UL Min thing, um, again, for users in France, um, if you require a permanent uh, longitudinal uniformity of 0.7, which disregards the, um, the values that appear in... Um, in the European standard, then tick it by ticking that, it will override 0 0.5, 0 0.6 uh, longitudinal uniformity and automatically put in the 0 0.7. Um, disabled footpaths is associated with the um, 
with the illuminance grids and, and if you if you want to do an area um, and just specify a total area immaterial of the footpath you can select that there and linear interpolation this is used for some of the um for the earlier grids particularly the um the em1320 2013 grid where there was an option in there to apply either linear or quadratic interpolation um I, unless you know what you're doing i would i would leave that alone um i have mine forced so it sets um um em13201 um uh, calculations the optimize 2 is quite a useful feature um it, it allows you to specify optimization to either meter or half meter intervals obviously if you go to half meter intervals you're doing twice as many calculations um so um but some people like that facility um lastly we have um the selection of our tables and in the uk we we um we tend to use c2 i know in in other territories r2 and r3 are used more extensively particularly in north america canada um and various parts of europe the 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 r the r2 and r3 are used so select whichever one of those is appropriate for your country for the designs that you're doing um and um with mindset to c2 Similarly, if you do wet calculations, you can specify the, the W class that you want to use um, for calculations there. Um, obviously, this is a more advanced feature, so use those as necessary. Um, select Save, and any of those parameters that you've changed will then be saved and take effect in, in future versions. You can also set your default language here as well. So if you have installed the program um, in say English because you that's what you want but you actually speak Dutch German or French then you can change the language to that and that will mean the program will run in those languages um, within the program when you actually come to print the um, the reports you can change the language to another language as well similarly if you are um, for any of our colleagues that are in um, in America um, or Canada particularly um, most people tend to select English, thinking it's the right language to do. We have some facilities within the program which will force um, RP8 to become the default grid, and also um, it will also give you the option of the units that are available up here. So if you if you want to use feet and foot candles, it will allow those to become the default units um, within those standards. So if again, if you change that here and then select save that will then become your default um, default grid I'm not going to do that in this case so you select save and close and that will then um, take effect if you want to locally change the any of the parameters um, within the current file we can change that through these values here so if you suddenly decide that you want to calculate to those two criteria there then that will then affect the current file um, hope you have um, found this useful if you um, if you have um, any comments or questions please uh, message me through youtube you can tweet me at nicksmith1246 through twitter you can send me an email to support at nicksmithassociates.com and um, if you found this useful um, please subscribe to the channel so any future updates um, that we publish uh, will be notified to you and finally, if you have a topic you want me to cover, please message me through YouTube, through LinkedIn. You can tweet me at nicksmith1246 or email me support at nicksmithassociates.com. Thank you very much for um, listening. I hope you found this useful.